Hello everyone, this is Foxhall. I'm playing some Kingdom. Kingdom New Lands. You can see in the very bottom now. Kingdom New Lands, version 1.2.10. So this is the Halloween update still, even though it's like November 3rd that I'm playing this. And you can see that I'm really decked out. I'm at like the end island. I've actually beat this like several times over. It's fairly simple for me. Not simple for the people, but I like it and I overkill it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just here at the end. Getting ready to go set off and sail again. However, I want to try something new, which is why I'm recording. I want to start a new game, but I want to clear all my data. I want to start all fresh. So I'm going to look into that, and I just want to show off like what I have. Alright, so when we get back, we're going to start from the very beginning again. Bye. Alright. So at the very beginning, you can actually change your character if you look, um, how your character looks. I think in the middle of the game, you can change the color of the clothing and the cape. Well, except for the guy's always wearing a black, black shirt and white pants usually. Yeah, it's always wearing black shirt, white pants. Oh, but the main thing is the only time you can change their ethnicity is during that. After you get that, you're stuck with what you have. Um, so, this is the technically the tutorial part, but hey, this is what our battle looks like. If you don't like it, well, you can actually change it right here with set the blades on. But you need to put something in here first. Thankfully, I copied what I wanted before, and that's actually what I had before. It's a little bit long, but there we go. And there we go, we got my scroll back. And you see his cape did change, so yeah. Like, apparently you can change certain parts of the clothing. And this is the logo for the game. It's falling apart. It scared me for the first time a while back. So the ghosts lead you to the main campsite when you start. And for this run, if I didn't say already, we're doing the... Oh, I have to buy... I have to buy the... Let's do a tutorial. And then he's going to tell me, like, certain things. What is it, sir? Where are we going now? I don't remember the, um... I'm gonna buy another tail. I I am getting another one. He's just slow. Leave me alone, ghosty. Leave me alone. Okay, now what? Build, expand, defend. Thanks for the recommendation or advice. Yeah. Why are you still here? Alright, now she's fading away. Alright, there. Once you actually get through the tutorial, she never really explains anything to you. She just kind of goes away after showing you the camp. Anyway. So, like I was saying. We're doing this mode to... Get to a certain point. And that point is... The Fifth Island. And to beat the Fifth Island. Now, normally... You would have unlocks along the way that makes things easier. This playthrough, 
no unlocks. I'm just doing whatever the game vanilla with well, I guess it would be vanilla to do the unlocks, but I'm doing everything without the unlocks as much as possible. So if I see a signpost that says Oh oh I can like, unlock more of them now. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Whatever happens, happens. So if the game wants to give me things all by the very beginning, like this thing, I'm gonna ignore this. I'm not gonna get it. However, we currently have the Halloween update. And I'm going to say the Halloween update horse is free game. Why? Why not? I wonder, is, does the map actually show everything? No, it doesn't. So yeah, everything is locked again. Um, and this is the end. So this is where we actually escape the docks. Of course, there's no boat there. We, we need a boat to escape the island. That's how we keep the crown safe. This entire game is all about making the crown safe. And if you're watching this, I kind of expect most people to find my stream. Like every other game. This is not the first time they've seen this game. And as such, I don't have to explain as much to you. Such as, the crown on your head is what makes you a king. If you don't have the crown, you're not a king. Things at night come out and try to steal your stuff. They want the crown. I don't have to explain more than that. They're, they're just if you get too close, they're going to take your crown. But since we already went to the far end of that side of the island, we know nothing's going to come that way. So we know we're safe on one side. So this guy's... I, I call him the merchant. I, I don't know what he actually does. He just, he just goes back to his little hut. And... Then comes back after a little bit. It gives you money, so for one coin, which makes no sense to me why you're doing that. Anyways, here's the boat. If we put money into it, it will at least show us the way. It will actually point towards with the bigger end on this side, which is going to be the front of the boat, where the end of the island is that it will be sailing to. So my tactic is to clear out all the enemies' portals on that side of the island first before I even touch the boat for upgrading it. Oh, this is important. So this is something that comes, you know, you, know, you see everything's still unlocked. But this is required, technically, because you need to get to a point where you can stop making better fortifications and everything. Well, if you can't actually upgrade your current buildings and walls to even higher, then you're going to be stuck. However, doing that little shrine, oh, that's where they come from. So, moving, just moving to the mountain real quick. The mountain cave portal thing is where they spawn from if all the portals are destroyed on them. But they, that's still a valid spawn point for them at all times, but eh, it just doesn't always spawn them, I think, <coughs> from there. I think it chooses random portals. I'm not too sure how it's exactly done. I have two coins back there so the guys walking back don't get ambushed. I left one there for when the next guy spawns so you can quickly jump on it. Anyway, so we gotta defend this a little bit better. Um, I need these two guys. Actually, these two guys are here. To grab some hammers so they can upgrade stuff for me a little quicker. And I'm just going to do a whole bunch of these because. So now we have a lot more people going to be hunting and upgrading the boat. But this guy should be fine by himself. Uh, if, so right now, the merchant is still here until the force around him goes away. 
And my tactic to get more money is to make as many bunnies on the map as possible. So I would want to clear this tree to get more grass. And to let the archers go beyond a certain point, I would clear this tree to let them keep going this way. Now, if I do that right now, then the merchant will go away next me That means I'll just lose free money. Another possibility is I can look on the ground. Like, I see these big rocks. This is where I can put towers. If I see tiny little dirt mounds, that's where I can put um, walls. So we want to see if there's any dirt mounds. Right now the only one I see is like this one. And if I do one right there, I'm definitely going to get rid of the the bunny spots right here. But the bunny spots will go away regardless if I put even a wall at the very end past the camp and everything. All bunnies will disappear within your wall limits of your camp. So it doesn't really matter. But the reason why I haven't actually built those walls yet is because of this. The more you upgrade your camp, the more special but free bonuses they give you. Like right, like right here, it just gave me a free wall. I know that because I've done this like so many times, like I said. So I kind of expected to get a free bunny. Well, not free bunny, but free wall. And that's why I'm not upgrading even further, is because of that same reason. I expect to get free stuff out of it. So, I can't expand the other way, but I can expand this way. And these guys on this side seem like they have a lot more money. So, yeah, because as soon as I chop on those two trees, it'll, the grass will expand all the way down to this side. Oh my, so we're not going to get, like, special Ultra Towers upgrades or anything. Which makes the game so much easier. Oops, sorry, sir. The, uh, so the special buff towers. Like, right now we have archers. I should really stand here and show you the enemies, but... Oh, yeah, the camp. So... There's one for the archers. It makes it so they always have precision, precision, and they don't miss, because they love to miss. They also love to miss. I, I saw one just standing in front of a bunny, just shooting straight down at it, it and it couldn't it can't hit it. It was like, I fail at my job and my life. And there's nothing you can do about it. It was sad. It was so sad. So if I upgrade this one more time, it'll upgrade the two sides with bigger walls. It'll be stone walls and a, a level 2 tower. The quickest I've escaped this island is... I think that was within 10 days. That's because I just focused on the book the entire time. It was like... By fairly, fairly quickly. However, I'm gonna leave here, trying to get knights to come with me. So I'm gonna upgrade the camp two more times. Once for the walls, and then another time to get the castle. The castle will allow me to get the knights. Once we have the knights, then we'll be able to um, put them on the boat, and we'll have an even bigger army. As soon as we get to the main island. And that's the plan. <coughs> so even though I feel fairly confident with what we have right now, we definitely need more guys. Especially since you saw how slow they were to kill that guy. It was not very competent for me. And the boat's done majority of the way right now. But well, then again, it's the first island. It's easy. So, the further you go into the game, the less they give you free supplies for the boat when you start to upgrade it. So it takes longer to upgrade it. And it takes just as long for the boat on the fourth island as it is for the fifth island. 
The problem with the fifth island is it's usually a longer sail for that boat to get to <coughs> to get to the docks. So it'll be quite a while. So that's the main problem with that. I can focus more on that. So what we're probably going to do is get rid of the... Yeah, so there's a, a wall right there with a... Get you, and we're going to suck it ring of this. We got to expand. So sorry there. We're going to get you like one more time, and then we're going to get rid of you for good. We just need to grow. So, at a, when going at a certain point, you probably saw this little scythe sign. Yeah, we can get farmers. This is for the farmers. Are you guys going to make it over here? I'm just going to watch you guys. Deers will drop, I think, two or three coins if you kill them. So it's kind of convenient to chase them back into the town, but they're not always easy to get back to the town. Anyway. So that's the majority of my plan right now. Just try to build up the boat. Got the island. Go to the next island, do the same thing, but a little bit harder because now you're farther away. And it's MVP, and you get the idea. Um, guys are probably gonna get attacked. One, two, three, four. One day, yeah. Five should be enough. So. We're gonna have to get rid of the merchant. Yeah, because that's where the thing is. That should be more than enough for the night pools. Did I? Yeah, I did show them. I should have them taking the money though. So they this so everyone calls them the greed because the like money and gold. Your crown is gold, so that's why they steal it. If they steal it, you're no king because the king always has a crown or a queen for people who actually pick the female character. And if you lose it, then you're done. Oh, they actually took all of it. They must have took when I wasn't looking. Hey, and he came in to chop down the tree. So, let's have them upgrade this. And since there is grass on the side... Yes, there is, and then it should expand this way. The reason why I was looking is because the top, the wall, when it's done building, will actually block the... Oh, I don't know. Shoot! The tower, the walls will block the growth of... of an additional grass being spread. So if you want more bunny spots, you have to be very careful. Very careful. You may lose potential growing pasture because if you chop down a whole bunch of trees and then put the wall, but didn't let the grass spread. But now you're gonna have this barren land that won't support any life because there's no grass there. And in this game, grass is everything. 
So what we're gonna do is upgrade this wall as much as possible. And because we're already out so far, the guys with the hammers don't have to run back and forth so much. I, I don't have to worry about them getting killed on the way back, so. And also, this would give us more layers of protection between our main floor. And he's just going to disappear. Yeah, he's gonna fade off into the nether event at some point. But I, I usually pay no mind to him. So, you probably did see the grass was growing near the wall, but that's the only point it actually ever does that, is when it's being upgraded or reconstructed. I think reconstructed, but definitely when it's being upgraded, because you know it technically doesn't exist when upgrading. Like right now it's taking forever to upgrade it, because it's the biggest wall, it's the max upgrade. And now because they took so long to actually build it, the grass had time to sneak by. So now we definitely have grass on the other side of this wall. <coughs> Not that it matters because we already had grass on the other side. But that's one way to make sure you have grass on the other side is just to make it max level. If you get grass already up to it, that is. But if you quickly built like two layers of walls near each other and you didn't let grass go past it, it's gonna it's gonna be very hard to get grass past that. Because more likely they'll finish both walls before the grass gets by fully, and since they're be extremely close together, they'll completely block the path of the grass completely. So you're gonna have to distract all your upgraders, the workers on the other side of the map while the grass is growing. Oh, you gain the walls upgrade to max level. Blood Moon is when the way a bigger wave than normal comes out. That's gonna be our main problem right now. While we're playing the game with no unlocks. The only unlock we have, technically, is the horse. That's all we really have. Everything else is technically just as difficult as the first game. Alright, so now we get the catapult. The catapult will enable us to get beat all the It's gonna enable us to beat the waves. It's not always accurate, but there's always that chance. So this middle spot is being unused. To use it to its full potential, we're going to need a farmers. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some money into farmers right now. The first level will let you put down some farms. Max level will let you do more farmers. But the key thing to note, they don't walk back to the camp end of the day. That's where you lose most of your money from because they have to walk all the way back before they stop working on the farm. If they take forever working on the farm, then they don't actually give you money as often. So by having them be closer to their farms, they can immediately go back to work and immediately give you more money. So that's why I usually skip <laughs> the first level of the farm and I just go straight for max level and it's like why am I wasting my time with any with anything else right now um let's have you guys put some more things on this boat we'll use other two coins on the other side to get the so you got a nice little farmers there. I think we can fit like six easily on one of those next upgrade farms.
Well, I was gonna get some of the peasants. I don't know what to call them before you give them money. Because I call, like, the most of my people sub my subjects. So I guess this would be, like, peasants. Because they're not really... I guess they are beggars. But they're definitely the poor. But the thing is, they're not your poor. They weren't really your subjects because you came to this island. It wasn't really yours. But they were already here, so... I wouldn't necessarily call them poor. Because they were here before you got here. But if we get those guys, the last two, just two more of these, I think we'll be at a good spot for that. And then we should concentrate more on um, the boat in the nights. We're going to get the boat to a certain point, and then we're going to focus on the nights. Hey, where's your buddy? Yeah, there's two of you. Where's the second? If I go after, it seems like I'm off. Well, I don't know what I could do, because all I could do is throw money at people. Solve all my problems with money. Where are all those buggers? Oh, you know what? It was probably the... Yeah, it was right after Red Moon. So, my experience after Red Moon, it's usually always peaceful. It's usually my chance I usually have to take advantage of the enemy. Like, oh hey, none of them are coming out. We can actually sprint a little bit <laughs> and get even farther into the island than normal. This first island? Not a problem. It's usually not that big of a deal. Later on, it will be a big deal. We will be traveling very far. I will wish I could teleport, if I could, because it's that far. And I will teleport when I get to that point. But I'll show you at that point. <laughs> right now, let's just beat this. Um, yeah, so if you guys are here to, like, visit my stream, my channel, to view other games that I play, that you want me to see me play. I need to know, because I don't know if anyone's actually watching my stuff. Uh, so, do you like my videos? Comment, let me know. And let me know what you want to see. This way I will actually go back and be like, let's finish Subnautica. Which reminds me, I need to finish Subnautica. I need to finish a lot of things. I need a college also. This horse takes forever to get tired. But I already need one. I'm not gonna go back and get that coin. <laughs> it's just one coin. The farmers will actually produce a ton more. So we got one, two, three. <coughs> then one, two. Looks like we can fit one more. Or, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, because there's not uh, another one on this side. So, that's what. We'll get another one, and we'll say this is the last guy. Let's see what he does. He is walking this way, so he is interested in working at this bomb company. And this guy had moved over to make room for the new guy, and he's now starting a new plot. So, yeah, that was um, a valid thing that we'd done. Let's get another one. Because they have to aim over the wall, archers down below will have a hard time shooting higher. So we should upgrade this tower to make sure we survive. 
Just so more archers can sit up there and have an easier time shooting on the wall. I don't always like the tower, but the tower's gonna be needed here. Just so it's. I have seen these guys get easy swipe shots from up here <coughs> before anyone else shoots. Or they would shoot and they miss. But these guys have a lot lower chance of missing. Uh, you guys want my coins? They're actually chasing me. Up until they hit the wall. As soon as they hit the wall, I've actually ran past them while they're still attacking me. But I only do that when I have, like, more money than I know what to do with. Right, before I hit today, let's quickly... These guys, nothing. Let's quickly go on the other side. Oh, it's day, so everyone's moving again. I was just going to go on top of these guys and see if they had any money. They do. Kill, kill this bunny. Here. It's like I know you guys are incompetent without the archer statue. But please hit the bunny. All I want you to do is hit the bunny. That's your main job. Shoot an arrow, hit the bunny. Hey, you get only one coin. Everyone only gets one coin. If you get more than one coin, it's in the form of a bow or a shield. Or a hammer. If you like hammers. But you don't get to choose that. First come, first serve for everything. Which reminds me, we'll need another hammer. Yeah, see, they were both running for it because they knew. First come, first serve. They're very dedicated about having to work, though. Because they could be in their pajamas, like, the entire day. Maybe, but maybe that's the incentive. Get a job, don't have to wear pajamas all day. Because no one likes to go outside in pajamas. Like, I give you a coin so you can get clothing that looks like pajamas. <laughs> then you put armor over the pajamas. I'm just realizing that right now. Oh, pajama nation. These guys up here at least have like, we have actual uniforms. We have actual clothing. Why? Because we're important people. We're the people who stand on the towers. And guess what? You're no longer on top of the tower because I have to upgrade this again. One more level. Technically one more level. Less level. It's less level I can upgrade on my own. There's another one higher than that. But it's not a tower. You can just turn the tower into useful things. Using up the harvests that I had on the horse in the beginning that you saw. Right now I don't have that. I don't have any of that. This one. Um, let's upgrade this one more level. There we go. So what that will do is give us the max wall on that wall. <coughs> so if they break through here, we have at least one more line of defense. I could go make the other tower in between, but I'm looking at it as fairly redundant. Because if they break through this, they kill everyone here. And then they get stuck here. I guess I could build a wall right here, but then they would be breaking down this one. And then they'll get here and stop bringing down that. So this guy will be important. Because I could I'll wait upgrade that. I'll wait until I'm observing it as somewhat dire. Like, we know we're not going to survive. That's when I'll start. 
Right now, I'm fairly confident in my abilities to survive. You'll know you're done building the boat when, when it says, like, oh, you need no more money for this. Then you'd be like, sweet, I can, I'm done throwing money at it. You still need to throw money on, on it just one more time. That last time, put it into the water. And that's when the night rates get very rough. So, I'm just trying to get to that point, and then we can say, hey, let's back off a bit. Let's focus on the economy a little, a little bit more, because we need the knights. And these farmers are going to help corn. Now, I have read that most people are like, well, the bunnies are better, so you should put more archers down. How are you going to get more bunnies? Because right now, all my archers are going to turn all the bunnies. Oh, we don't. If I put out more archers, well, technically I need more land for to allow more efficiency, because having three archers around one little bunny grass is not going to be... Useful. Anymore. So I had to expand out. The more my archers go out, the more likely that they'll never run back in time for nighttime, and they'll actually die by getting overrun at night. So it's actually better for us to stay small as much as possible. It don't really try to make our archers run around so. Much. Because the more they run around, the more likely um, they'll never get back in time. I have seen, by clearing out, out one whole side to the docks, I have seen one archer walk the entire day to the docks. And then for him to turn around and come back at night, he would never get back in time before daytime, which means he failed at defending the wall. Because he was trying to get to the other side over here to defend this wall. Which meant some guys were... There were more guys on this wall defending than there was on the farther side where the portals are. Which means my defenses were backing. That's a no, my friend. That's definitely a no. So I'm trying to... I've been trying to keep small. It's as much as possible to a degree and then try not to have archers spread too far by using that strategy it seems like they've been surviving a lot more and it seems like I'm surviving more because I actually have to get defended the only thing that's difficult is getting the peasants that are going the wrong way. Because we have the undead horse, we don't need to stand over rest precisely, we just need to give it some time to relax. And then you can run around and get some more. But it looks like you didn't rest enough. It's usually two seconds. Do we say like one Mississippi, two Mississippi? Then you'll know that you're done letting them give enough rest. You need to do the two Mississippi over some grass. If you don't do it over grass, then the horse will just take a lot longer to get all its energy back. So you can sprint like a madman some more. Yeah, we can. Ah, I want to get those peasants to find. Because otherwise, we're just going to take longer to upgrade. <coughs> so, oh, so thinking about it. The one thing I have noticed is, yes, when you put the boat in the water, the way I have observed, the waves do get tougher. An interesting thing to note is, when it's a red moon day, usually they're in a pattern, so you can tell when they're coming. But gosh, I have more money than can carry, so it's just getting tossed in the water. Or something. So, it will actually be easier on the Red Moon Knights than the non-Red Moon Knights. I, I have noticed that. 
and I think that's silly. Like, why is it easier on the hard nights than on the normal nights? It's because you're you didn't spend a very long time on the map, so it just happened to be easier. So the shields have come up here. The shields will make knights, and three archers will follow a single knight. We want knights to go on the boat, or knights to go and destroy portals. Right now, the only portal we have is the bone portal. We can actually destroy it, and it will deactivate it for like a few days. I forgot how long exactly. But <coughs> I'm not considering it like an albino acid to go destroy the portal. You may be using more resources trying to destroy the big mountain portal than just ignoring it and just trying to turtle as much as possible. But it's still a strategy. A strategy that you can still do. I never feel a catapult on this thing because we don't have to. I just don't want like an engineer just standing out in the middle of nowhere being like, what do I do? What is my life? So we're just going to um, ignore that catapult. Oh, did you hear that sound? It sounded like something moving, like a big boulder or something. Well, that's because from Red Knights, they come out of the big mountain. The mountain portal. Usually the mountain portal is closed because all the portals can be active and that's where they'll come from. But I don't know why you never hear it any other night and that's the only portal left. But you always hear them that noise on red nights and that's the dead obvious that oh the horde is coming. And yeah it's kind of like a horde. I'll show you what to do in a bit, if you have too much money, you don't know what to do with all of it. But for now... <coughs> we're just going to make sure we're okay on this side. Get on the boat, you losers. No! <laughs> you exploded money on me. So... Yeah, they all saw that- Oh, technically, there's a tower there. <laughs> Let's all jump on it. I find that hilarious, but... The engine- Three engineers, or... I guess constructors or builders, whatever you want to call them. I like to call them engineers, because they do a lot of jobs. <laughs> So they're, they're obviously college professionals. So, I have three of these guys dragging the boat along. These three guys will pave the way for us. It's a safe place. Should we really get this far away from this? So, they will bring that boat to the end of the island. It will just take a long time. Like, I think on the first time, like two or three days. So you're trying to get the achievement of, hey, beat the island in like 10 days or something. That means you need the boat, build the boat like immediately. And then it'll take the rest of the time of the 10 days. It'll probably be like day 9 is by the time they get there. If you immediately stop working on the boat. Because I doubt with the amount of money you would have, you would be able to finish that boat. But... <coughs> Now the boat is fully built and it actually in the water. They're gonna start ramping up the attacks at night. So that's the main thing we have to worry about right now. Is making sure we have enough archers. So when the knights grab their shields, they'll put in flags right here. And you'll see that they're right here. And the one thing they really love is money. Is because the more money they have, the more um, the more defense they have. Oh, 
Let's go. And you know we will have to build at least one more wall. This way we can send them out to follow the boat. Because that's the reason why I even you know, gained the knights in the first place. Now I have used knights to defend walls before. And you'd be like, but well, what? They don't attack. But there is still a use for them. Because when this wall gets destroyed, he'll at 50% health on the wall, he'll start running back to the next wall and defend this from this side. So that when this wall gets destroyed, he doesn't die, and his archers don't die. And then they can begin attacking on the minions right here. Wow, this guy's probably shooting down at those guys. But they have a strategy. They are actually smart. They're intelligent. Well, at least the game makes it seem like it. So, we have very little archers over here. Like, was that three guys right there on the ground and like three guys up high? Oh, oh. Please tell me that's not all of our archers. Well, it's technically one right there, one right here. One right here, and then all the knights are here. So, yeah, that technically is like all of our archers. Uh, oh, they're already this far? Jeez. I'm just gonna go and quickly grab these peasants. Because apparently we don't have enough villagers defending. I'm gonna leave one coin here for the next guy who pops in. Because I'm a kind of merciful, merciful <laughs> king. Alright, so now that the forwards are gonna stop going slow. So I'm gonna send off these knights to stop on the, the boat. Technically I didn't have to give them money, but they'll get really distracted. They'll be like, oh money over there. Let's walk over there. Don't go over there. Stupid, stupid knights. So we actually have a better economy than I thought. But that's because we're doing really well on bunnies. And we're doing well on the farms. The farms, I'm like, eh, they're good in this car. They're a good supplement. I, that's all I consider the farms, really. That's all they will ever be for me. A supplement for a good economy. If you rely on farms, uh, maybe you should rethink yourself as a dictator. Hmm. Yeah, so this is now this is the slow point is like there's nothing else for me to do while I'm waiting for the book to go along. But that's why I'm that's why I consider a patient player doing. A patient player is like I have waited to make sure that my success is within my hands, and now it seems like I have nothing else to do. There's still things I can do, I'm just feeling like eh, technically I'm done. I'm done with this island, because uh, I'm definitely off, that's for sure. And definitely making sure that we're getting as much people as possible. So the hover on my horse I had before, that I had on the war stallion, or the war horse, his job was a cook, or baker. He makes bread. Or he at least makes the bread house, or the, the bakery. You don't actually need them at that point, just to make bread. You just throwing coins and it somehow pops up bread instantly. With no time to wait for it to bake or anything. And then all the poor peasants on the map will run towards the bread. And they will all eat the bread 
and then stand there and wait. And then it'll walk away slowly over time. Or oh, oh, this is more bread, then we'll just eat more bread. Anyway, that's how I was able to beat other maps extremely easily. <coughs> Pop down the baker, build on this max upgraded tower, it will turn into a bakery. And then peasants from all the map will rush in because it doesn't matter how far away they are, it doesn't matter how dangerous it is, the peasants will always be okay most of the time. Because they got nothing to steal, they're poor. They have no gold. The greed doesn't care for them. The poor peasants are scared out of their minds. They have power and fear. Oh my, that's not good. Um, Ben? Oh god, oh, oh god. That was bad. Repair. I was like, wait, <laughs> this is slowly looking very bad. Very, very bad. And I was right. It was bad. If we had a um a knight, he would have ran away a lot earlier, but then that means everything would have been ruined. And it was probably a good thing that we didn't have a knife. Let's go make sure some of those peasants got to us and that there's no, no one walking away. Because there sh might be. All the trees exchanging colors? Oh, it's autumn now. Which is not good. You don't. It, you. You. Go. Yes, follow the gold coin. Rush towards the gold coin. Oh, oops. I didn't want to actually. Oh. Well, at least you're a lot closer. I don't have to worry about you as much. I just have to worry about you just as much. As long as we have jobs for them, I think they'll run quicker. I don't know what actually makes them run or not. But I do know if they are actually close enough to actually see the stuff here, that's when they'll start rushing towards it. I don't know if they're close enough. Um, I think by the time we rush over there to the boat, they should be done. They should already be there. So let's just walk through and see what kind of money we can get. Let's see how high we can stack this pool. I think that, yeah, the majority is just going to fall. So. <sighs> oh well. We tried. Yeah, at, it's very unlikely to keep more on. I have gotten more on. It's just... It's like as the purse is disappearing, you have to then go and yeah, just do that. No. No. I'm not waiting enough. No. Oh, that one stayed on. All right. <laughs> well, let's let's stop fooling around and. Let's go to the phone. It should be there no matter what. If not, then I, I don't know. No, we're going to ignore this. We can't... We technically can't get rid of the undead horse. Like, oh, you're not even there yet? Oh, my. But you know what? You're almost there, though. You're almost there. That's what's important. Oh, you did kill him. You guys are giving me money issues again. 
All the money's just sliding off. The physics of the coins are making the coins that have somehow stayed on getting pushed off and making all the coins go away. Okay, guys, stop, stop giving me coins. Stop making this thing up here. I'm, I'm trying to. Alright, uh, nope. I should really stop trying to do it. You know what? Let's just leave <laughs> those coins over there. I'll show you why. And grab. We got them. Yay. We left them behind though. Yay. And then if you want to speed this up. Because does it actually do anything? I don't think so. Let's go to the next map. We unlock nothing! Yay! We can't go to anything else. Let's press enter. Alright. So where to go? I don't know. Hey ghost. Where do we go? Oh, thank you for leading me to the island. Well I can't. Right, quickly put these down. And, let's, and now these guys are quickly going to go and get us some goodies. Some delicious goodies. So if we want to know... Oh, we'll actually let us do that immediately. Uh, I see how it is. Alright, so we got that put in. There's the first portal. Yeah, I'm not really too worried when I have full portals. There is a map upgrade. It wants us to upgrade, but we're going to ignore it. And here's another map. Sweet. Let's do one Mississippi, two Mississippi. And you should have full stamina again. So, there's definitely one portal to the end of the map. Easy. So we need to make nights before we worry about the bow, because that's what I recommend. And then we can guide our knights out there just short of war. Um, I'm gonna go for now. Let's see which way we're pointing, because we know which way it's gonna point anyway. We know everything about it. He won't give us anything. Oh, the merchant is right here, so if we want to expand more, we will have to kill the merchant. Lovely. Alright, so we're gonna get those guys back to town. Big wolf force. We're gonna, gonna get the upgrade for that already. Here's another undead horse that we can't get because we have an undead horse, and the undead horse won't let you leave it. Because you're now a horse. It, it, this horse is now your life. Yeah. I know you like that. Stupid greed. Okay, here's another portal. And here is the end. Alright, so the second island has two portals and bunch of chests because we got no upgrades it should have the arch tower as like one of the upgrades uh, let's get this trailer chest because we're not going to come back out here really yeah we're running low on money because we've been tossing money everywhere 
So yeah, the guys will run out early <coughs> to be able to get to the walls by the time it hits nighttime. Well, but like midnight-ish, I guess, or whatever. I don't know when exactly they come, but I know it's usually enough time for every single guy to hit the wall and enough time for the archers to kill all of them before morning. Otherwise, like you saw on the other day, they just started to run away because they came and they didn't get through. Let's get two more of these. I feel like I need two more. These guys running around. And then we're also going to just max out them. these guys. And now we got more money than we need to go to do with again. But that's because I'm not actually up here in the towers yet. I should. And let's do this first. Just so I have that. So it didn't give you supplies well. I thought it would, it doesn't. That's interesting, good to know. I'm just gonna do this wall because I know the inner wall will upgrade more. But I'm not gonna do like three levels on it, I'll just do two levels. <coughs> this way the like I can at least shoot on the wall a little bit. So without that shrine I keep doing, this is the most you can do for the walls. Which means you can't get the second level of that nice looking fort. So that would be the max level wall, that would be the max level tower. And this, well, the one after this, it kind of looks like a church or a great hall. But that would be the max level without the <coughs> without that. And that's right, you guys run. So I could say we probably easily knock this down because we don't really need the merchant anymore too much. Not really. We already have more than what we need. Um, I just feel comfortable if we just... Yeah, they're gonna fight over that. How about I just do this one? Right we actually grab that coin. Someone grab that coin. I don't know who it is, but I want that coin. Oh, we can do this. And once again, we need money. Oh boy. So you can see it's very beneficial to go and get the... villagers that wander around. Well, not, you know, every once in a while. We need a bigger workforce. More archers. Always more archers. I don't really care about this at all. But what I will want to do is expand. Well, actually, I don't need to expand the wall anymore to the left because we know that's where the dock is. Which means as soon as we. There should be one more, I think. It's only two. Right? Unless there was multiple of them on one and they would die. But uh, yeah. Alright. We don't have to worry about that. For now. For now. Okay, we can get the balls. We just need to get money. We'll get money by this guy. Also, did anyone bring back any money? No. Over here. Anyone bring back any money? I didn't get it. No, I did. Alright. 
uh, we'll just be Which is why I'm keeping around still and not backing down that thing because right now I'm like, well, can, do I even have enough people to ensure that there is enough bunnies around? There may not. There may not be enough people. This way there'd be more bunnies than there than they can actually shoot. Well at least I know I get that guy, I can guarantee that I have a nice amount of money. Um there's no way they would get back. So that's another reason why I would knock down the portals, is because this way I don't have to worry about the guys getting ambushed along the way. They got more time to come back. But, eh, no. I don't need all of them. I just need enough. Once we knock down the portal on the left, we can go all the way through. We try to upgrade this. I was supposed to upgrade that before we ran down. Alright, you're starting to upgrade that immediately. Thank, thank, thankfully you are. Alright, All right, grab your bows. We need them. So another thing is I use the towers for is to guarantee someone's going to stand that spot to defend. Because I've had times where it's like I need to guarantee that this one guy is going to stand here because I know that someone's going to break through. So by putting a guard tower in, it's like, hey, they broke through this wall. So then when they go to this side, like, hey, this guy is here to shoot at this guy without anything blocking his view point. So. More likely, he'll get that guy. It's a sound strategy. It's just, I don't put the guys over here on this side. Because on longer days, there'll be night creatures that come in, and we'll actually fly in and pick them up and fly out with them. <laughs> And we'll see I'm trying what to do with these guys, but since everyone's here, able to shoot up, more than likely it won't so far. So more than likely it won't happen. Oh, they're here. There. Hey, we got one going. We can get one guy. Yay. And no one's here. Let's quickly run out and put one coin down. And we'll put here. Just so we get another guy coming back. Alright, and we can get this guy. We're still getting to the point where it's like, what do we do? But obviously, what we do right now is get the okay. That's the next point. We need the castle. So you saw I was getting autumn on the previous island, so if we wait long enough for the winter, you know what happens in the winter? Nothing grows. Everything stacks and everything stops. We go. And what's so no buddies will come out, no deer will come out. No I don't know if the merchant keeps coming out. I assume he doesn't. I think he just disappears. Um The only way to get money is if you put money in the castle without the 
the seasons. This accountant? I like to call him the accountant. Um, he will give you money that you will be invested into the castle. He won't give you any more money than you put in. I don't know if there's interest or not. It better be. <laughs> but, that's the only way I survived day 100. Because it became winter, it's like, what do you do? The ushers have nothing to do during the day. They don't go out and hunt anymore, they're just done. The farmers are done. They'll actually drop their scythe after some time and be available to recruitment. So that's how I get more archers at that point. Um, yeah, you, you're done once you run out of money because then you can't, then you can't recruit more guys. So guys who get attacked and drop their stuff, they, you can't get them more stuff. What you give them is what you have. It's kind of like watching it, yourself go on a downward, downward spiral of, oh my gosh, like this is the end. But the thing is, all you're doing is getting to day 100. But I put enough money in the castle where by the time the money stocks were like halfway down was when I actually beat the game. Is when I got the day 100 achievement. So we had plenty of time. We weren't in any issue. There was no issue really. We weren't at risk of anything. Alright, well we have the archers on that side. And with the knight, so we just have one side now. I just want to upgrade that shield one more time before we pop down on that side. <coughs> so once we get the the last upgrade in the tower, that's when we'll, that's when we'll send these two knights up. Why two, not three? I don't need. <laughs> oh, no. Well. I don't need three going out there. I will want three in the boat, but technically I don't need three to destroy the portal. It'd okay? be easier to destroy the portal. Actually, yeah, it will be easier to destroy the portal with three guys. So let's do that. Yeah, because it will just be easier to destroy them. Send out the margin again. We have to knock this down. But we'll wait until he comes back. This way we can just knock it down. And then his home will be gone, and by the time he goes back, he'll be depressed. And I'll laugh. And I'll laugh. Oh, that's why we didn't really break down the... Old... I should have broke down the tree some more on this side. We would have gotten more, more bunnies. We couldn't go very far, but yeah, we could definitely get more bunnies on this side. I think I broke it down a little bit more, I just didn't go very far. Um, I think they got some time. Yeah, they definitely have some time over that here. Yeah, do some work right here. Good job, Missy. Good job. Good job, um... Let me do that one now. Let me do 
this. Just this. And that's it. We don't want to get any closer to the... the we don't want to accidentally destroy the forest and get rid of that little camp. Because if he goes away, we're done on that side. I don't want to lose those villagers. Losing those villagers would be very detrimental to us. Now we got one, there should be another one popping up here. I think we gotta let the grass go out a little bit more. Or just time. Not that the grass spreads out, <coughs> you know. Grass doesn't become tall, that means that you gotta give it some time. Now the question becomes when do we go out to destroy the. Like them. Do it, do it, go, come on, go. I don't want the marching anymore. He, he's not making enough money to validate his existence now because I know having this many archers, we can definitely get more, more money than we can out of the bunnies than this guy. So he does get a lot of money, but. His case is not strong. Not strong at all, really. He should stop some point, like right. Away. He'll stop right after the thing, if it's still here. It is still here. So he'll go do one more purchase of this, and then he'll disappear. Read that, and it will squirt up more. That will be plenty of bunnies. Yes, this will be a lot of bunnies. That will make me very happy having that many bunnies. Now, um, we can probably get the guys in the camp. Oh, he's just not even going to come back. I put money in just for him to just disappear. Because his home disappeared before he jumped into it, I think. Yeah, he... Oh. Or he's gonna just turn around and be like, Well, there's nothing for me to do here. I don't even know what's gonna happen with him. I don't know if he's going to actually give me money or not. Because <coughs> I've never really done that before, where his home disappears as he's coming back. But you know if I was him, I'd be very upset. Like, where's my home? You got rid of my home? How dare you? How dare you get rid of my home? Well, we need to put more... Pla um... Open lands in. Open fields. So we get more bunnies. <laughs> so we can hunt them and get more coins. You you know how upset I would be if anyone ever told me that, like... Your home was not important for us to... For our economy. I would be so upset. It's kind of a red moon out here. Let's, let's get inside. But I want to give you a minute first. It's coming back. Anyone else out here? No. Oh, but we've got plenty of land. Jeez. That's going to make lots of bunnies. Oh, so much bunnies. 
There we go. Got some nice oversight. Overwatch going on. <laughs> oversight. <coughs> if I want to expand more I'm too left, I'm gonna have to kill off the, those uh, guys over there. I don't want to do that. If I want to expand out this way and get some um, these rivers to make some farms, the next dirt mound will be right here. And I'm um, that one. Because then we'll get rid of that guy. Uh, technically, you don't need to go out there anyway. Let's send these guys out. Uh. You know, I wanted to send the third guy out, but I didn't make sure I had enough money. So it looks like we're not going to send out that third guy after all. Well, <laughs> why? I don't know. I don't know if he'll catch up in time. Well, for one thing, we have to run out and make sure we help out those guys. Because one of them doesn't have enough coins. He's just, like, he's just a guy out there with a shield right now. He has not... A, I don't know what the coins are for, but... Made some motivation to keep defending. Oh, makes sense. Like how I defended the knight by act by them attacking me first. Yeah, so it's just a waste of money to be another knight. But you know, we got him just in case we don't know. We didn't know how long. It would because they're missing a lot. I can see them missing a lot. Dumb deer. Hey, you can only say that you don't fall for that. Like, I, uh, as soon as I got here, it got destroyed. I was a valuable part of this team. And I can't really say no because he, as soon as he got there, it did get destroyed. So yeah, usually during these waves, they always run back to defend. So, you know that shit's about to hit the fan. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make sure our people are equipped. And you're running the wrong way. Would you defend this side? <coughs> This side, please. As much as possible, this side. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? All this money goes right here. Why? Because we. If they get through, we're done. We're just done. Because is who's going to defend us? Who is going to be left to defend us? I was just realizing now, like, wait, like, was this a red movement? <coughs> I don't think it was. I think it was just regular right thing. They're here. Yeah, so they won't turn away because it's daytime. 
because these are the ones that are here because they're opposite the eastern corner. You're here for revenge! Also free. They're just they're still here to kill them. They just won't focus. Oh, they're still my people! That actually wasn't too bad. It's probably because we're still very early on. Oh, yeah, so those are the ways I'm worried about the most. Is those, um... <coughs> several day-night ones. Well, not several days, um... The ones that, the waves that you get from destroying portals, because those are bigger waves, they're, they're more aggressive, they, they have a lot more of the flyers, a lot more of the small guys, and sometimes tanks, so, more than likely they will punch through that wall. If they could, they would, and they probably would have there, considering, that wasn't a lot of guys relatively and they're already at the point where it's like oh this wall is cracking it's about to fall apart on us that's not good that's not good at all that's not good for like this is our last defense for our town so that's why I'm doing this right now even though we're gonna get rid of some of the bunnies it's kind of I'm not gonna make sure I'm not I'm gonna make sure we don't lose. We're gonna have a second wall. We're gonna have I'm gonna keep those three guys on top defending. Yeah, well I can't really get rid of them anyway. They're, they're stuck. That's their life now. So you may be wondering. So if you go to the next island with like three knights on the boat, because technically you only had two before, which means if these guys always divide their teams when you get to the next island, and what couldn't you put more than two or more than three on the boat for the next time, like five of them? Well, te technically you could, but. As soon as you send all of them out, as soon as they all jump, jump in the boat, they can only fit three knights on. If you try to put any more, they would be like, we're done. Like, we're just going to turn around now and head back to the camp. And that's what they do. They don't actually try to put more on. <coughs> and for this one, I'm just going to keep it a little too tired. Because their game kind of sucks. Oh, me a little play tower. Because their aim kind of sucks for the flyers and without the archer tower, and they'll have to try to aim up higher than normal. So if I just keeping it at level 3 instead of the max level 4, the flyers will have to fly down a little bit lower to get that guy on the, on the, on the first floor of the tower, so our guys can actually aim better. And hit them more than hopefully. Hopefully, I just go out and get some more people. I just tossed a torque coin, they're just gonna leave on the ground this way. Um, What should happen is they'll just uh, grab the coin as soon as they spawn. They seem like they go for it too, so it works.
what we could do is build up that farm and put in archers. Not archers, farmers. But I don't know if that would be better than the bunnies. I guess right now they're not getting a whole ton of money. Technically they are, but I think the farmers would be faster. Yeah, they would be faster. So let's do that. Let's put in some <coughs> farmers. And that's all we should need for the economy. Our economy should be good at that point. Would it be good for them to skip? Good this this is the ne that's the next dirt walls right there. Um, there might be one behind that bush. Or... Yeah, so I don't think there is any more dirt. Might behind one behind that dirt, but yeah, I don't want these archers being out this far because then they risk the possibility of if they have to run back to the other s other wall, they may take too long to go back. And that's not going to be good. So we'll just keep it with that for now. Need a little bit more coins. For the next guy, and then we just need to upgrade this so they actually stay here and then go back to the main town. <coughs> so that becomes their, uh, I guess, rally point. Oh shoot! I'm like, where are they? Let me go out there and take a quick look. And then there they are. Nothing to really worry about right now. And because we're keeping the wall low, they can aim better and hit them easier. So everything's fine. I don't see any guy walk around here, so no one got attacked. They all got back. They should have all got attacked. Let's get one more. Yeah, because that guy came back from the other side more than likely. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, th
And just so I can keep you around longer, can you just do these as well? Oh, and might as well do um this portal out of here. Yeah. Just so I can guarantee that we'll be still around. Alright, so there's nothing right there. Now, that will allow me to tell it easier. Well, right now it's a one way portal. There's no portal on the map. No. But I can fix that. I can fix that easy. I can fix a lot of things. If these guys stay and or the archers will just run through. Hopefully they will. So we got one, two. I don't know how. One, two, three, four, five. We got five farmers and I don't think they can expand anymore this way. If they can, I'll be highly surprised. Oh, you need a job. Oh, we don't have a lot of engineers, so here you go. I don't know what the... Why are they dedicated to the other jobs? Oh, look at that one. Yeah. I got rid of that merchant. You know, it's kind of relaxing not to worry about the upgrade the, uh, statues. Because that's one thing I would always have to worry about. You gotta be like, oh well, it will run out of its power in like two days, so. I gotta run out there, put me in the charge, and so that's a full 3 day charge. But then it's like, but if I wait until it's like half a day first and lost one full charge, when I put the new full charge in, then it will recover the half a day and will put in another full day. So I'm getting like a day and a half out of it each time I do it. Or if I wait until it's just so empty. It's like I get another full two days out of it. Out of just putting a little money into it. And I'm like, it's it's not worth the time. It's not worth trying to game it that much. Seriously, there's no other... There's nothing else. Well, I should at least put in a portal for ourselves. Right there. That portal seems like the, it's a complete waste of time, but you know what? It's something. It's because I, I knew I can't put it on top of like many other things. If it's too close to a wall, it will be too, if it's too close to a. Uh, well, the thing is, if it's still buildable, if it's still buildable, it seems like it never lets me do it. So. I need to keep it away from everything else. Unless everything is fully upgraded. Then I'm lucky. Like, 
Um, let's put in some more. Engineer. <coughs> oh, hey guys. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna run away now. Alright, so guess what, guys? They're coming. Just because I said they're coming does not mean to meet and shoot. It means you wait for them to come, then you shoot the cow hole when they're all ganged up. Not to immediately. <laughs> Shoot and waste the catapult. Jeez. will stop producing soon. Which is nice. Oh, we can actually put in a thing right here. Let's see, let's um, walk past this. It might. Setup right here, where it's like, ooh, all these guys are nice and defended between several layers of towers. All right, let's. Yeah, and now the archers are over here defending, and now they're like, oh, bunnies. Now he's game. Oh, you don't want to go very far. No, I can't leave a coin here anymore. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I would have to get rid of you if you want to get the money. Well, let's see. Let's wait and see if we actually do go out. I'm not worried about this blood moon, right? Let's just try to get the blood moon, because it's almost day 15. By now, normally, if you're trying to do the achievement, you should already have the boat made, and should be already sailing towards the end of the map. Or you're ready to put the boat in the water, but you just haven't done it. And you should. Or you're, unless you're gonna lose that achievement. It takes like, for, for the beginning eyes, it seems like three days for them to sail. Which means you're already late. You're already slow. You already need to get good. Yeah, I'm just gonna knock this down. We have enough. Yeah, plenty of monsters. Right now, that's just getting in the way. Of us getting more players. Because right now, we just gotta build. Like I said, it always seems like there's just enough time to kill all of them before morning. On a normal day. This time we'll be killing them a little bit early. 
and it went by. For some reason, our guys were just competent. No bunnies out. Hmm. Weird. And that's the last guy on this side forever. Alright guys, you get the farms done so we get more money. And the archer to start getting more stuff. Now we're going to get one or two guys each day. Not a lot. But we already have a full complement of crew. Because we have. Actually, we got engineers staying around waiting. Waiting for some action. We have three knights already decked out. And ready to go. So, yeah, we're pretty much at the point where we need to put that boat in the water. That, that's the point we're at. And the only way I'm getting more people just to fill in more archers right now. Just so they can defend more. Get him. We go get him. That's something it's such a waste. It feels like a waste. It feels like a waste of a, a portal. It doesn't seem like it's that far, but the portals will have more use later on. Because it will, the distance will just be stupid after a while. Because once you're going like. On a railer horse, your horse will run out of energy before he even gets to that first portal. <laughs> or, he, or he might. But since I'm using the undead horse, he can probably go the length of the entire map just fine. What I have to do is wait until night and then walk over the farmers and see if they have any gold. Because this way you get them all at the same time. <coughs> Upgrade. Okay, let's go get that one guy who's going to be staying there. Let me know. So as of right now, Kingdom Two Crowns is it's in development. It's been announced for quite a while now. And right now from what I've heard, they currently only have a capability for dual screen. Well not dual screen, split screen. So it's gonna it's gonna be local computer only right now. But then again, I, I don't expect these guys to be like master programmers because the game is not the most efficient. The game does lag after there's so many entities on the game. Where I've seen other games where it's like, yeah, there's like um, 10,000 units in the game. It's still smooth, it's still fast. And it's like, how do you do this? You guys are 
awesome at designing this. And that's AI Wars 2. Like, it's 3D. You're gonna have hundreds of ships everywhere. Thousands of ships everywhere. And for AI Wars 1, I've only seen it lag when there was like 30,000 AI ships flooding out of the warp gates into your sector of space constantly like every second there was like another bomber there like hey I'm here to destroy you and it's like we just destroyed him like a second ago and then another one and then another one and then another one you'll still try to destroy like the first hundred and there's more coming in still it gets gross if you let it do that. <laughs> If you let it go up for that long, it gets gross. Are we ready to sail? Yes, we are. And it took us up to day 14. But, we spent a while trying to get the fields ready, but now we're at a point where the farmers are actually producing quite a bit for us. I think it was just the, if we didn't build this wall, or this tower, and just light on this right here, we pipe. See, this is what I'm talking about. They're still running back. There's not a extended there um, running way too much. You know, it's like already like midnight. Holy cow, you guys have spots. Wait, is that boat already gone? Like, set sail? Yes, it is. Holy cow. What are you guys doing here for? Go on, go get the boat. The job is to light it. <laughs> light that thing. Be crazy about it. Be enthusiastic. Don't make me tell you to go out on it. Jeez. I want you guys to have some independence. I think it's a normal thing to see them repair the wall. The thing you you worry about is when you see the wall nearly destroyed when you come back. Because then you're like, what the heck happened? Um, we can probably do this and it'd be fine. <coughs> I, I don't think these guys have to work with me. It's just everyone else has to worry about going too far. And it feels like to me they could get more bunnies. They could. They're just... Is it enough bunnies for them like that? Yeah. So that will extend the bunny range. Hopefully. Looks like these guys are going to be about ready to get in some more money, which is nice. I'm not even going to bother with checking the boat right now because I know it's going to be a little bit more time. Are we still on this island still? This is going to take a while. I'm going to have to break this up into videos. This pie would already be on the second video easily. Oh, so yeah, like, um... I was hoping to just on the city. I don't think I'm going to.
definitely not going to. Uh, I don't like having to run that far out for the guy, but that's all we're going to have to. We don't have the hermit. We're not going to get the hermit. He's gone. We're not getting him back anytime soon. Yeah, now turn around one way. Let's see how far these guys go. It's not very far, guys. Do you want to get the map? No. No one locks. We're doing this with 100% vanilla. With some sprinkles. Maybe a cherry on top. Oh my gosh, no. It's too dark in here. I want to at least have a night light. As I'm sh shooting money out of everywhere. Run away! You overshot the catapult, seriously? Look at them move their hands! Look, look at them move their hands! It's more like tentacles than anything else! It's creepy, it's spoofy, it's something that's for sure. Is that a skull? If we weren't going to leave like any second, I would go put money into the bank, but it's kind of pointless. Now, uh, I'm going to make like light right here. That money is going up to the top of the screen. <laughs> oh, you're here. Right, you guys have money for me, I know you do. Let's see how much that we get back. <coughs> hey. No taking my money. I think some of them did take the money. I don't think they carry it to the next island. I have never observed them taking it to the next island. I think we were better off not doing that. <laughs> but whatever. Alright, we get away on the map. Yay! Alright, people. See you in the next episode. Bye.